Egypt offers much more than just pyramids of Giza or the Nile cruise. And on today's Cool Peeps Top 10 show, we are showing you other exciting experiences you can have in that country. Starting off at number 10, we have visiting Aswan. Aswan is Egypt's calmest town. This is the perfect place to stop and unwind for a few days and soak up the chilled out atmosphere. You can take the river ferry across to Elephantine Island or stroll the colorful streets of the Nubian villages. At number 9, we have Islamic Cairo. The atmospheric narrow lanes of the capital's Islamic Cairo district is crammed full of mosques, madrasas, and monuments dating from the Fatimid through to the Mamluk eras. Surrounding the markets is a model of roads, home to some of the most beautiful preserved architecture of the old Islamic empires. There really is a wealth of history here to explore. The Cairo Opera House is at number eight. Built to replace the 1870 Khedivia Opera House, which was destroyed in a fire in the 1970s, the Cairo Opera House, unveiled in 1988, is the hub for the performing arts. It's considerably larger than its predecessor, as it houses seven theatres, a music library, art gallery, and a museum. At number seven, we have the Hugada Grand Aquarium. This is an aquarium located in Hugada. It opened in January 2015 and contains nearly 1 million gallons in tank space. It is home to over 1,200 individual animals and 100 species. It is easily one of the continent's largest aquariums, as well as Egypt's largest and nearly the largest in the Arab world. It contains 24 separate exhibits, including a shark tunnel, rainforest, and whale valley. The Bibliotheca Alexandrina is at number six. This is a major library and cultural center on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea in the Egyptian city of Alexandria. It is both a commemoration of the Library of Alexandria that was lost in antiquity and an attempt to rekindle something of the brilliance that this earlier center of study represented. Beyond the books, there are four museums, a huge 180-degree panoramic interactive computer screen, and six specialized internal libraries, including one each for children and the visually impaired. Nama Bay is at number five. This is a natural bay in Shamel Sheik Resort and is considered the main hub for tourists in the city as it's famous for its cafes, restaurants, hotels, and bazaars. Visit St. Catherine's Monastery is at number four. This building stands at the base of three great mountains on the Sinai Peninsula, one of them Jabal Musa, also known as Mount Sinai, the mountain upon which God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The monastery feels like a portal to another world, and in a way it is, as it contains irreplaceable artworks and objects, from mosaics to chalices, manuscripts to icons, which are some of the oldest surviving Christian images anywhere in the world. Its library in operation since the 6th century AD is the oldest in continuous operation in the world. Its collection of ancient texts rivaled only by the Vatican. Going inside the pyramids of Dashu is up number three. Just outside Cairo sits the two oldest pyramids in Egypt, Ben's Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. Touring the insides of these pyramids in Dashu will definitely feel like an adventure. To enter the pyramids, you must descend steep, tight tunnels, and then you can explore the ancient chambers inside. At number two, we have Visit Luxor. Luxor is a city on the east bank of the Nile River in southern Egypt. It's famous for the Valley of the Kings, Karnak Temple, and the Memorial Temple of Hatshepsut. Luxor is on the site of ancient Thebes, the power base of the pharaohs, and home to more sites than most can see on one visit. And finally, at number one, we have visited the pyramids of Giza, of course. We're definitely not going to finish this list without mentioning the pyramids of Giza. These pyramids, along with the Sphinx and a handful of other smaller tombs, 
form one of the most iconic sites in the world. The pyramids were built at the beginning of human recorded history. Over here, you can visit the panoramic point, go on a camel ride and visit the Solar Boat Museum. And that's all we have for you today. Will you be adding Egypt to one of the countries you would like to visit? Do let us know in the comment section. And as usual, don't forget to like this video, share it with friends. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be back with a new top 10 list for you.